It's a uh, Ricky Mosville Times here once again. Now I'm down in Oxford. Um, this is the fifth ed- fifth year edition of Rabbit Fest. It's been going very well so far, and I'm currently with the headliners, Bound in Fear. So, would you like to introduce yourself, what you play, and um, who the hell you are, mate? Yeah, man. Uh, my ma- my name's Steve. I am the guitar player of Bound in Fear. I'm the only one available to talk because <laughs> they're all warming up and they care more about their bodies than I do. So does that mean that you're more professional than other bands? No, 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 no. Far from the point. I, uh, I get on stage, I put my guitar on, and I go. The rest <laughs> of them need, they need time. But I'm older than they are, so yeah, I've been doing this for a long time, so I know when shit hurts and when shit don't hurt. So. <laughs> good stuff. So good. But um, am I right in saying that uh, your last album or last official release was in 2019? Uh, yeah, close to that, yeah. Yeah, so I was just wondering if you're going to become a, a doom metal band now. You've taken that long to write stuff and release stuff. We're, we're a very pernickety band. <laughs> uh, everything's got to be right. Everything's, yeah. like, we get given time frames by the powers that be, and if it's not right, we don't abide to it, because if it's not right, we're not putting it out. Yeah. Especially the vocalist. Um, there's a lot of lyrical content that matters a lot to the band. Yeah. And it's got to be the whammish shit that we can do. Yeah. So if we're not happy with what is available at the time, then... We're going to go again, and it, it just is what it is. Yeah. I know you've had a few lineup changes in the past, but I think in the last couple of years you've had a solid lineup. Oh, yeah, no. You've toured all over the place, and it seems to be this is the lineup of Bound and Fear. This is the boys. Uh, yeah, no, solid as fuck now. It's, it was always the, the vocalist is the main driving point in the band, which yeah. is obviously it's a very vocally dri- driven band because of the vocal content. Yeah. Uh, it, we're, we're like a breakdown deathcore band, so. If anyone and everyone can play the guitar and bass, the drummer is a different story, but we have a, a killer now that does it for us. <laughs> um, but yeah, now we got we got two great guitarists. I've said that about myself. Yes, you did. That yes. is very... It's nice to see that you don't have an ego. Oh, wow. Well, yeah. <laughs> uh, and we, we stole a bass player from another um, very reputable deathcore band in the, in the area. So, yeah, yeah now we're set now. We're just... It's just that weird post-COVID thing where all the the good tours yeah. were booked before the shit went down, yeah. and now we're kind of in the middle ground where we haven't got anything new to produce to prove that we're allowed to be on these new shit. But do, you, do you have like full songs ready? Do you have like five or six oh, yeah, songs? We, we go to a uh, we have like a a retreat we go to in Wales. Yeah. Very very Tory vibes, but yeah. Tory, yeah. Um, where we just go and we sit for five six days and we, we write stuff, yeah. have fun, drink beers, play video games, and just let it organically happen. Yeah. Because most bands nowadays can't be in the same room for more than fucking an hour before they start trying to kill each other. But we we managed to get a, a solid week previously and a solid week probably a month ago where we were locking shit in, making sure everything was there. There's a lot of like polishing to do yeah because we're all very so what are you guys like on stage then are you going to kick the shit out of each other on stage <laughs> if we kick the shit out of each other on stage there'd be a problem because somebody would get knocked out the show would stop there'd be blood like we, we let everybody at the front do the job for us Absolutely. We, me as an old person like knows that i can't see when you say old i'm 50 yeah a good looking 50 I like him. I like him, Joe. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Jay, I like no, no. Him. I, I've, I, I've been around for a fucking long time, in my opinion. Like, I'm, I'm nearly. I've just turned 33. Uh, right. Like our vocalist is mid 20s, so yeah. We, we do still. We, we bring it on stage, but we let the crowd do it for us, and yeah. we build off all of the energy that comes back and forth. But you guys, am I right in saying that you guys are signed to uh, Unique Leader Records? Not anymore. Yeah, we are. Yeah, you no, are. No, it's, yeah. It's, it's, yeah, no, it's still, still a. a so they still thing. are. This, a guy's just dropped his trousers over here out of my eye line. He's trying to fuck me up. But no, it's fine. No, I'm kind of enjoying the view, but I'm going <laughs> to pull eye contact. He had his ass cheeks in the window yesterday, so don't worry about it. No, no, we're still signed to Unique. Um, we, we plan to do many tours, affiliate with them. We have a lot of brothers in the same. On the same record label, Last Ten, um, involved in your etc. We've been with recently, so yeah. it, it's a it's a good thing for us to be involved with, and we're going to continue that as, as long as it's good for the band. Well, I mean that's a huge record label. So how did that come about? Like, how did they discover you? Uh, it, it's pre me, so right. I joined the band just after they signed their deal with them for the first album, which has happened a long time. Yeah. A long time ago is the wrong word, but like four or five years ago. Yeah. Um, which was just before I joined, because uh, I took some time out after being in another band and having a kid and shit. And yeah. I came back. But, um, yeah. No, my favorite. I mean, it's a huge label, so ab- yeah, no, ab- absolute utmost ab- 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 respect for what you guys are doing. Yeah. Um, 
But am I right in saying that you just played a festival in Derby as well? How was yeah, that, no, that for you? Yeah, no, it was great. Um, Derby's always a place where we go, where we, we dread to go is the wrong word, <laughs> but it always turns out good as a, a great fan base and crowd and it's just fun to play. Yeah. Like there was a there was massive issues with transport on that day because it was the day where the storm the first yeah. storm hit and like a lot of people couldn't get there due to train. So I think fifty percent of the people that were supposed to come on like ticket sales couldn't make it even like the local little bibbly bobbly trains couldn't yeah. get there. So yeah. we, we played to half half the room that we should have done but we still brought it and we you don't care if you're playing in front of 10 people or 100 people or 1,000 people, you still bring your shit. Give me five people. As long as five people are killing it, I'll, I'll go. And if there's not five people there, you just beat the shit out of right. each other. It's a free band <laughs> protest and I'll spit in my vocalist's <laughs> face. Yeah. That's fine, yeah. Yeah, so um, when are you going to start like getting stuff ready then? When are we going to officially have something to release? Are you looking at the spring of next year? Oh, was that, that smile tells me that you almost gave me a Moshville Times no, exclusive I'm there. I'm not allowed to give any Moshville Times exclusive. I'm looking looking into the traffic and just saying what I'm supposed to say. Uh, no, we, we haven't... But we're looking for something in the near future. We, we have a lot of very, very good friends in very, very high places as far as the bands that we are affiliated with goes and obviously the record label. So we have things in the pipeline but nothing that we can officially promote yet. Yeah. Uh, we obviously need to finish the album, release it and then that'll bring good things but we have a lot of very, very cool friends Yeah. Re- releasing a lot of very, very cool things that want to take us to places which are very, very cool. So... Yeah, well, until you've got something recorded, then do you have like a like another tour or anything like that? Do you have a number of gigs, or do you want to concentrate on the right? No, no, th- th- this is us for the year. Tonight is our finisher for the year. Yeah, 